Hi guys! Do you want to know what it's like to manage the pre-opening of a hotel in the booming city of Dubai? Well, today we're going to interview Michael Svensson, GM at the Vicero Palm Jumeirah Dubai, and he's going to tell us everything about it. Come with me! Thank you very much for welcoming us today at the future Viceroy Palm Jumeirah Dubai. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's uh, the hotel, how is it going to be? Yeah, I mean, first of all, Lucia, thank you very much for coming all the way here to Dubai. I'm sorry that the, the weather is a bit sticky <laughs> this time of year. Uh, we're very excited about this hotel because we believe even in a place uh, like Dubai that has so many hotels opening all the time, there's probably three, four or five that are they're being built at the moment. But we believe that we're going to bring something truly unique and different in that it's going to be a real lifestyle type hotel. Uh, and that's a, that's a word that's used quite a lot in hotels these days. Um, and it really comes down to delivering something that feels very natural to people and going away from the stuffy hotel, luxury hotel, which still has its place. Uh, but, but being able to deliver something that's natural, being able to deliver something that extends what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, rather than having it compartmentalized as if you're, you're living your life, then you go and stay in a hotel, and then you go back to your life. We just want to elevate that life uh, in, in our hotel, and we're very excited about that. And um, you asked GM uh, before the opening, what are you actually doing? What are your responsibilities? What have you done already and what is missing still? Yeah, it's, it's a very interesting question, Lucia, because it's one that's asked of me quite a lot from especially guests, you know, guests who stay in hotels. And they say, well, Michael, why are you, what do you do a year before you come to a hotel? Don't you just arrive and then the door is open and everything's working? Uh, I wish it were that simple, <laughs> but that's not the case. The most important thing is to establish the plan. And then uh, from there, you ensure that all those key milestones as you move forward are met. One of those key milestones is, of course, to find the right people. Uh, and those people are people that will come on board uh, when you need them, other people, or you identify them and then you move forward. Uh, then of course one of the biggest areas and that takes a lot of time is sourcing all your operating equipment. You know, when you have a hotel of this size with 10 outlets, uh, you've got a lot of forks and knives and a lot of pillows and a lot of linen and everything else that goes into a hotel. So what you do is you work with a procurement agent um, and you establish a plan that goes side to side with the, with the master plan, uh, and you determine what these, these various uh, uh, pieces of equipment are going to be. In line with that is also what we call ff &E, which is your furniture, your fixtures, and your equipment, which is the sofas and all of these type of elements, that you also need to work together closely with a designer, uh, you work closely with your owner, uh, and then you, sure, you ensure that everything marries together. So, so that's, that's a critical point. And then, uh, of course, as I said, after that, uh, ensuring that your communication plan comes out at the right time um, because if you're too early with your communication plan and then you don't know what's going to happen there is that whole ramp up you know that whole six five four three two month ramp up up until the, the time you open and then depending on the hotel and depending in the market and how ready you are uh, you may have a soft opening which means you open partially a partial amount of uh, hotel rooms a partial amount of restaurants and you sort of test the market to ensure because once you open those doors, you don't have an opportunity to go back. You know, it's that first impression. And today, when there's so many hotels opening up and so many professional companies out there, uh, you really don't get that kind of leeway um, that perhaps you, you would in the past, um, because, and especially in a place like Dubai that has so many hotels. So that's really the process working up towards opening the hotel. So now you are eight months to go to the opening? Yes, yep. And um, do you already have all of your head of departments or where are you now? What's the... Yeah, no, I, uh, I wish. <laughs> um, but it's very interesting because we, uh, we have about 10 key people at the moment uh, in, in some of the key areas. Some positions come in a little bit earlier, such as human resources or engineering, sales and marketing, finance. Those are key positions that come in almost pretty much at the same time as the GM comes in. And then later on, the F&B director, director of rooms, hotel manager comes a little bit later when you start focusing more on the operational side. Um, 
So we actually just just a few weeks ago we, we put out four key positions onto to our LinkedIn page and within a week uh, we got over a thousand applications just for those four positions. So uh, you can imagine that it's it's a great problem to have but at the same time um, you know for me and for us it's so important that we communicate to everybody that reaches out to us because inevitably you are going to to reject more people than you hire. So you have to ensure that when people come and touch your brand uh, uh, and they, they want to engage with you, that you give them a positive feel, regardless of if they're going to join you or not, because you never know uh, if they're going to join Viceroy uh, later in, in Dubai or in other hotels. In your opinion, what would be the skills to have in order to manage a pre-opening? Uh, I think you, 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 know, you have to have very good focus. I think that's the key thing that you have to have as a general manager because opening a hotel versus running a hotel couldn't be more different. They're absolutely different skill sets. In a, in a, in a hotel that's operating, you're guided by the operation. In a pre-opening stage, you set the tone. You know, you, you have to be proactive, you set the tone. There are always changes that happens, whether it's in construction or operationally or whatever it is, there are always changes. And you have to be able to re-guide yourself, refocus yourself and the team to ensure that you keep on top of what's going on. So, so I would say focus is the absolute, you know, most important part of, from a pre-opening GM's perspective. And there are so many hotels in the area and in Dubai in general. How do you plan to to, f to make it full, to actually fill the hotel. <laughs> Do you have a specific um, plan or...? Mm. But you know, Dubai is a very unique city because the amount of tourists that come into the city every year continues to grow and grow. So the, de so the demand and supply scale is not being shifted. But that's not to say that the competitiveness in the market doesn't increase, and it, it, absolutely it does. And I think it goes back to what I was saying about um, being very specific what you were trying to deliver. You know, we want to be different in the way in which we deliver the service. We don't want to be an over-the-top luxury hotel. We want to give you familiarities, but on a higher, on a higher level in this hotel. Um, and as long as we can do that, and we can do that unique by getting the right people, by truly getting the right people, and that's the most important part of any hotel, is to get the right people for the right jobs. It can't be everything to everybody. Uh, so, so be sure to stay focused and understand who your target market is, who you're trying to attract. And as long as you're attracting within that market, the key is to get as many people as you can.